just get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job. But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student-athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student-athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to Elevate. We can only elevate together.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales, driven forward, compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. 
Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job. But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Valley Sports Network? My name is Caleb Brunson. I'm Michaela Etienne. And we got Thursday Night Hoops for you. It's the Alcorn State Braves. Come into town, take on the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. The Mississippi Valley State Double X look to snap a 19-game losing streak as we get into this game. And Alcorn are at an all-time high right now. Valley Sports Network, stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000. Or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. 
Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job. But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans.
Valley Sports Network. We're back as the Devil Lids take on the Alcorn State Braves. The Braves coming to this game, 11 and 16. And the Mississippi Devil Lids are 2 and 25 and look to snap a 19 game losing streak. And they are 0 and 16 in the sweat, and the Lady Braves come in at 7 and 9. Ball up. Alcorn wins the tip. And the last time the Devil Lids went and played Alcorn, it was all. Tajane Wright, and she absolutely went off when the Devil Lips went down to Norman and took on the Braves. And she opened up the game with a straight on three and misses. KJ Johnson looking. KJ Johnson up, no good. Rebounded by the Braves. She pushing it, looking to take it. Kicks it out. Right. Back to the corner, three point shot is up. Air ball. Zanai White with the air ball. Kicks it to Tajane Wright. And that's an early foul. That foul appears to be on number 25. Excuse me, not a foul. Shot up by the Braves. Lee Ryan shot good. up and good by Destiny Brown. Destiny Brown gets the first basket of the ball game for both teams. Brown coming to this game averaging. 8.6 points a game. Excuse me, 13.1 points a game. Shot up by Harlow, but she's fouled. Harlow be going to the line to attempt the free throws. Harlow is a pretty good shooter from the line. She shoots 60%. I don't know the grade number two. The line right first personal. The devil let's lead a score. Zaria Harlow knocks down her first shot. Shaking back from the last game. She struggled from the free throw line. Second one up. It rolls out and it's rebound by number five. Destiny Brown. As Alcorn looks to push it in transition, swinging it across the Shanti Baggis. Perina, Kicks it to Tajanae right, right back to Baggis. Baggis on the child mid-range and it's good. She knocks it down with a little shake and bake. Her first shot of the game, nothing but net. As KJ Johnson brings it to the front court and loose to run the offense. Swings to the right wing to Kristen Hunt. She waits on the ball screen. Looking for some pull up. Hunt three with shot. the three. Missed. Rebounded by the Braves. She stopped by Malia Gibson. Pulls it out. Look for some. Down low. Nearly turned over, but up. Easy, and easy layup for Destiny Brown. Brown. And the Devilettes need to. Try to get better shots on offense. We don't want to let this game get away from us early. Most definitely turnover by KJ Johnson. Alcorn Braves pushing with the Euro step up. She misses it. Offensive rebound by, by the Backers. And turn almost turned over. Shot up by Brown, and it's good. And Brown has scored six of the Braves. Eight here early in this game. And right now it looks like the game plan should be to stop Brown. If Destiny Brown is absolutely balling in the early stages of this game. It's KJ Johnson with a nice runner to the left. Five point ball game, Braves with the advantage. Back is a little set up the offense for the Braves. Back is to Zania Wright. Zania White, little set up the offense. She finds Destiny Brown. Nearly turned over. Tajane Wright. Three ball, good. And like I said, Tajane Wright absolutely gave the Devil Lips trouble when they went down to Norman. From the three point line. We got to remember she a shooter, find her. Can't lose her. KJ Johnson trying to set up a play, balance out the floor. Swings it to Malia Gibson, Malia Gibson to Harlow. Harlow, Harlow attacking, shot up, and it's blocked by Brown. And Harlow, Devil X leading scorer, has been having a hard time as of late to put on that same offensive production that she had began the season with. 
Lily Gibson with a tough drive and foul. And she will be headed to the line to attempt free throws. And KK, I would love to see the Double X pick up a win here in these last two games. Most definitely shake up the swag standings a little bit. You know, you've only had two wins on the season thus far, and right now we're just trying to do better. Yep, I think they're capable of doing it. Air ball free throw by Malia Gibson. She steps away, try to shake it off a little bit. Got to make up for it. But yeah, Caleb, I definitely agree with you. We need to bring some energy to this game because this is a definitely a winnable game. Most deaf. Last touch by Alcorn. It'll be NVSU basketball underneath their basket. And the Alcorn break opened up an eight-point advantage here early in the early stages of today's game. KJ Johnson inside to Mick. Mick looking for some picks up her dribble down the Harlow. Harlow going to work, shot up, and it's good. Nice turnaround. She calls her a baby. She says she's too little. Six point ball game. Braves with the advantage. Beck is calling some down this side. Backdoor cut. All corn. That's all corn favorite play to run that backdoor cut. So we got to be ready for it. Zaniah White. Zaniah White picks up another. KJ Johnson open for three. White with the rebound. She pushing, looking for some. Passes up to the right corner. She goes, looking to take it all the way. White with the ball with the crossover. Has nothing down inside the Brown. Brown to the corner, shot up. Air ball. Rebound about Harlow. Nice, strong rebound. Yes. KJ Johnson looks to bring to the front court. KJ Johnson got to look up the floor. We need to get fast break points. That's two times in a row. Pushing the ball to White. White across skip court. Nice layup. Good transition by Alcorn Braves. Way and to move the ball. Disney Brown is absolutely killing it thus far. She has eight points. Most definitely. As we make it to our first break, 10 point ball game. Alcorn with the advantage. Double X are struggling early in this game. Michaela, let's, what do you think the Devil X need to do if they want to have a chance of winning this ball game? Same thing I say every game, Caleb. Energy, 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 and defense. Most definitely. I'd like to thank everybody who tuned in to Valley Sports Network, the best sports network in the nation. And we'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned, fans. Valley Sports Network, we're back. 5-10 to go in this first quarter. Alcorn 15, Devil Lips 5. And right now, Devil Lips are just playing catch up early in this ball game. Most definitely. Down inside the Harlow, and she's fouled by Brown. That'll be her first foul on the night. 
They called it on the floor to be the MVSU ball underneath the basket. First personal, third team. It looks like Valley just out there to play and not to win. I want them to pick up their speed, their momentum. Shot up by Kristen Hunt. It rolls out, rebound by Brown. She outlets it to number 11, Ashanti Backus. And Backus, Backus is going to take it all the way. She passed out. She travel. travel. Didn't take much to see that one. That's a travel call on Nakaya Cheatham. We got some substitutes coming to the table. And Backus will be heading to the bench. And Alyssa Saffer coming in for Kayla Obello will be KJ checking Johnson. in for the Braves. Eagle chasing coming in for Kristen Hunt. Let's see if they can bring some spark off the bench for us. Saffa looking to call something. Getting trapped. Picks up her dribble and it's turned over. It's and she didn't go Cheatham. all the way. She misses it. Near the rebound by Harlow, but it's last touch by Cheatham. And it'll be Valley basketball. We have a mix up on who last touched the ball. Alcorn think it's their ball, Valley think it's theirs. And it'll be NVSU basketball still. As Eagle Chase takes the ball out, give it to Saffa, as Saffa brings it up the court. Saffa turns it over again and travels. And KJ Johnson will be coming in for Saffa. And couple. We got a substitute coming in for Alcorn, number 24, Kiara Henderson, coming in for Tajane Wright. NVSU in the looks like a 3 2 zone. Inside the Brown, Brown looking for something. Brown attacking, lays it up on three people, misses it badly. KJ Johnson looking to push the ball. KJ Johnson finds an open eagle chasing. Eagle chasing doesn't like it. So Keeps Gibson. it to Gibson. Gibson attacking baseline, pulls it out with a step back shot and up knocks and it good. down. Good. Lily Gibson with the step back. Jay. Avila bringing the ball up the court. And she looks to run the play. Swings it to the left wing. Back to Abillo. Abillo wants it bad. Skip past to Brown. Brown with the open, easy shot and knocks it down. Brown already with 10 points on the night. Yes, Brown is absolutely having her way right now. Another turnover. turnover by Valley. And the Devil Lits. Turnovers definitely hurt the Devil Lits early in the SWAC. Most definitely. In SWAC play and the past couple games, they ain't got that turnover number down, but to ten. Today, they are most definitely back to the old ways. Yes, now they're sitting at five turnovers. A billow with a nice layover, two trees. For her first two points of the night, KJ Johnson to bring the ball up slow. Eagle chasing open with the shot up for three, way off. Hard. Rebound by White. White pushing the ball, looking for some passes it up to Henderson. Henderson with the layup, misses it. And rebound gets her own rebound and she's fouled. We got two substitutes at the table. Kristen Hunt looking to come in. And number 21, Akira Ford coming in for Alcorn for Destiny Brown. And number 24. Kiara Henderson will be at the line to shoot free throws for the Braves. At the line, 24, Kiara Henderson. And she knocked the first down. Second shot up, and it's good. Got a substitute number four for Alcorn, Kaitlyn Watkins. Watkins. As Alcorn looks to press in the 2-2-1, 
Valley and they press break, dribbles it up, looking for something. Gibson meets the ball. Back out to Johnson. Johnson pulls it out, picks up her dribble down low to Harlow. Good cut by Johnson, shot up. It hits the front of the rim. Henderson runs after the rebound, but it's last touch by Hunt. KJ Johnson looks to find a shot. Has it, doesn't like what she has. And that's gonna be a foul on the braid as Kiara Henderson tried to cut off Kiara Henderson. Fouls. 21-7 ball game. Devil X, 14 point deficit early in this game. And Michaela, I don't want to let, I don't want the Devil X to let this game get away from them. Most definitely. Cause like I said, it's a winnable game. Kristen Hunt is fouled by number 24. I mean 21. Akira Ford, she'll go to the free throw line and shoot too. But I most definitely agree with you, Caleb. We just need to keep fighting. Can't head, hold our heads down yet because we still got 30 more minutes, well, 32 minutes left in this ball game. There's plenty of basketball left. Kristen Hunt runs to the bench and she has a little cut on her elbow. Best trainer in the nation, Doug, getting the right. Most definitely. Kristen Hunt looking to attempt her first free throw shot up, and it rolls out. No good. Kristen Hunt. Free throw is going to be crucial this game. We need every point. Kristen Hunt, she's shooting 70% from the free throw line. Knocks down the second one. That is a rare miss by her. She knocks down the second. Pushing the ball. It looked like the game plan for all corners just push the ball on Valley. Run them out the game. White with the ball on the right wing. Stolen by nice Eagle Chasing. Nice defense by Eagle Chasing. Looking to take it coast to coast. Euro step and laid it up and it's good. And that's what we need by the Devil X. Use defense to create easy and early offense. Yes. So we can get as many free points on the board as possible. Good defense by Eagle Chase, and she's called for a blocking foul. It'll be all corn brace ball underneath their basket. The billow looking for something. Passes it in to White. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Forward to Abilo. Abilo trap, dribbles it out. Abilo brings it all the way out. To White, five seconds, four. And White with a nice move through the lane. Wide open layup. Right hand layup by White. Okay, that Johnson dribbling through the press to Harlow. Harlow on the left wing, attacking the middle. Tries to do the Euro step, and she's fouled. And another foul on number 21. And with that, Harlow will be going Four. to the line to attempt two more free throws. We got Sub coming in, Alyssa Saffel coming in for Lex Eagle chasing. Looks like we only, oh, never mind. 23-10 ball game. Braves with the early advantage. First shot knocked down by Zaria Harlow. Zaria Harlow with the ball to the 10-plus second shot. Shot up. And it hits no the back good. of the rim. Rebounded by the Braves as White pushes it into the front court. 38 seconds to go in this first quarter. Turnover by Abilo. Kristen Hunt, Hunt pushes the ball. Kristen Hunt pushes it. 
So Harlow, like Harlow, lay up and it's good. And Harlow with a nice lay up and transition. 10 seconds left on the clock. Alcorn holding it for the last shot. White with the ball. White looking for some shot White up. White with the pull up. No good. Almost offensive rebound. The shot is out. No more time left for a shot. Your, final, your score for the first quarter is 13 to 21, 10 point ball game. Yes, double it. Came out early and went into a hole. And right now, trying to dig their way out of it. The Alcorn State Braves hot shooting by number two, this, excuse me, number five, Destiny Brown. If Destiny Brown leads all scores thus far in this game with 10 in the first half, I would like to thank everybody that's tuned in to the broadcast. You watch the Valley Sports Network, the best sports network in the nation. And we will be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. And Valley Sports Network, we're back. As the Devil Lits are looking to cut into this lead that the Alcorn State Braves have created early in this game. And that's gonna be a travel call on Malia Gibson since she took too many steps. <laughs> Abila bring the ball up the court. She's looking for some. Abillo with the three-point shot up and good. Abillo. She knocks it down. And she was about four or five steps behind the three-point line when she took that one. NBA range, huh? KJ Johnson looking to break the press. Back to Johnson. She dribbles down the baseline, gives it to Harlow. Harlow with the reverse layup. Rebounded by Alcorn. Abillo pushing the ball. Abillo pulls it out. She has nothing. She gives it to Wright. New York, New York, New York. And Wright kicks to Abello. And Abello is trying to get something going. Shot up, three shot up by Alcorn. It's an air ball. But it's rebounded by Abello. It's three seconds left on the shot clock. Her shot is up and no good. And it's rebounded by Harlow as she pushes up to Hunt. Hunt looking to take it all away with the reverse lay. Hey, nice move by Harlow. Excuse me, Hunt. I let you. Hunt. Listen, Hunt. Abilla bringing the ball up the court. She looking to run the set. NVSU changed to a man to man. Four looking to some passes it down, kicks it out to Abilla. Abilla still shoots the three, and another air ball. But it is last touched by Gibson, and it'll be all corn basketball. And let's see this move by Hunt through traffic. Uh, Euro uh. in the reverse. Oh my goodness, nice layup by Hunt. Nasty. Getting it done. 11 point ball game, Braves with the advantage. Inside to right, right and with right the with easy And right with a nice, floater. easy right hand floater. There's nobody played defense on, on that position right there. She gets the easy two points. KJ Hunt dribbling through the press, passes up to Harlow. Harlow looking to attack with the Euro, and she's fouled by four. And Harlow ran into a brick wall right there. Yes, most definitely. And appears to be a little shaking up. That'll be four, third foul in the second quarter, and we got a substitute coming in the game, number 35, DeAsia Reed. Zaria Harlow will be going to the to the free throw line again. And the line 
So for our hollow, it's two for four from the free throw line, shooting 50%. He has six points on the night. And we need Harlow to carry the team. Most definitely. Fresh shot up, no good. And now she's two for five from the free throw line and having a hard time getting it done there to try to strike this game. And she knocks it down. Now, with that shot, brings her free throw percentage to 50%, and she's three for six. Abilo calling the play. Screen by right. Right gets the ball, looking down low, swings to the left wing. Down low. Reed with a spin move. She misses the layup. Gibson with the rebound. She pushing the ball. She has numbers, passes to E. He lays it up in one. Nice. Layo by Salford. Salford getting and one. Salford with the assist. And we got the replay coming right here to you. And check out Salford with the nice tough layup right hand and one. She's at the free throw line trying to complete the three-point play. And her shot is up and good. She cuts this lead to a nine-point lead with seven minutes and 28 seconds left to go in this second quarter. And VSU still in the man-to-man -man defense as the Billow is directing traffic, running her plays. Shot up by Wright, up and good in her mouth. And Wright is picking up where she left off on the last time. They faced off in Norman. Kristen Hunt with the ball. KJ Johnson going to shoot the three. She misses it. Rebound by Harlow. Misses the putback layup. It's rebound by Reed. She had this to Abilo. Down low, back to Reed. Reed trying to go to work. Skip pass. She drives middle with the left hand lay. And it's Touched by Harlow, but it'll be Harlow, MVSU basketball. Twelve point ball game right now, and Devil S are still fighting to get back into this one. Get it to single digits. MVSU passing through the press. Saffa with the ball, looking to take it all the way again. She lays it up, hits nothing. Reed with the rebound, but she's touched the line. And it's out of bounds on all corner. Be NVSU basketball underneath their basket. Anjanae Mick coming in for Zaria Harlow. And Harlow be going to the bench to have a, take a breather. Tanae Griffin coming in for number 25. Tajanae White. Mick with the ball, loses it. KJ Johnson with the ball, attacks with KJ the KJ Johnson with the right hand, floater, up, miss, rebounded by Mick. Nearly turned over. Braves get the ball, and I'm gonna say they're a foul. And that foul on number 24, Andre Mick. First personal, first team. It's gonna be her first personal. Billow calling the play for Alcorn, looking to attack the baseline. Swings it back to Abilo on the left wing. Abilo looking for something. She attacks with five seconds left. Four, three, two, it one, an wide open. Shooter. And it rolls out. Rebound by Gibson. Gibson pushes up to Hunt. Hunt looking for the layup. She it's nearly loses it to Mick. Griffin with too hot. Mick hits nothing. And it's rebounded by Abilo. And Abilo brings it to the front court. Passes to Chapman, Cheekman to Reed. And Reed working on Mick. They're going to kind of foul on the floor on Mick. And that's Mick's second personal. Something to watch out for this game. Most definitely. We can't afford her, afford her to sit out. Yes, Goes it off Malia Gibson Black, but it's blocked by Mick. 
Cheatman wide open for the three. She shoots, misses it, and it's rebounded by Mick and loses it. And it's out of bounds, all corn ball. We cannot have careless mistakes like this tonight, Caleb. Most definitely we cannot. If we want to have the outcome that we've been hoping for for 19 straight games. Most definitely. Nearly nice turned defense over. by Hunt. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. They call a head tap. Let's see what this play is. Four seconds left. Abilo just had to throw it up. KJ Johnson with the rebound. Passes it to And that's um, going to be an offensive, offensive foul. foul. On KJ Johnson, it'll be all corn basketball. That'll be her first personal foul on the night. Still remains a 12-point ball game here. Zaria Harlow coming in for Mick. And Destiny Brown coming in for Alcorn. Your score is 31 to 19, folks. And we'll be right back to y'all after this break. Vocal Valley. Sports Network, we are back with the action. Good defense by Gibson. And the devil let for the turnover. She the ball, bounce past the hunt. She loses it. It'll still be NVSU basketball. Shout out to everybody at home tuned in. KJ Johnson back into Sample. Sample corner down. three, good. <laughs> She cuts the lead to a nine point lead for the All Corn Brave. 31 22 ball game. It'll be a foul on number 15. Alyssa Saffa will be her first one for the night. And Safford has knocked down the only three for the Delta Devils, Devil Lex this game. She comes in one for one. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Screen by Brown. Brown. A below down to Brown. And it's blocked by Harlow. Chris is the hunt and it's turned over. Too much of a bullet pass for that one. Turnover, Malia Gibson. Good idea with the pass. It's a little too much mustard on it. Backdoor cut by Alcorn. And it's laid up. And easy. high off the glass by, by number 12, Cheatham. Nakia Cheatham. And with that, Cheatham gets her first points of the game. She started out the game 0 for 4. K. 
And that Johnson with the crossover is blocked by Brown. Is blocked by Brown. Recover by Hunt. Hunt the South. The South straight open. on. Just misses it. A bit of swinging it across. Wide open in the corner. Her shot's up no good. It's rebounded by Brown. Kristen Hunt gets it and turns it over, and it's easy layup by number zero, Tanae Griffin. Tanae Griffin. Picks up her first bucket of the ball game. KJ Hunt pushing it, looking to take it all the way, and she misses it. Last touch by Harlow. It'll be all corn braids basketball. Substitute coming in, number 11 for Alcorn, Ashanti Bacchus, and number two, Zanaya White coming in for Abilo, and number 30, Maya Clater. And right now, the double X are still trying to get back into this ball game. Brown nearly turns it over. And it's turned over. Kristen Hunt with the steal. She looking to take it all the way. Lays it up easy. And it's good. With the finger roll layup. Kristen Hunt. Point ball game. Two minutes left to go in this half. NVSU defense seems to pick up a little bit as Griffin knocks down a jump. Nice up. shot. Elbow jump. Griffin. KJ Johnson setting up a play to Saffold. Saffold attacking, kicks it out to Hunt. Hunt wide open with the three shot up. His and a little nothing. hard. Offense rebound by Harlow, and she's fouled. And she's fouled on her layup attempt. And she will be going to the line to shoot her seven and eight free throws of the game. And Harlow always makes her way to the free throw line. And she really knows how to draw the contact. Most definitely. Her first shot is up, and it's good. Harlow shooting four for seven. Second shot up, no good. Hits nothing but the backboard. And back is bringing it to the front court. She's wide open with the step back, wide open three, hits nothing. Griffin with the rebound. Wright gives it a try, and she knocks it down. And White, Zania White, with her first three-point shot of the game, third basket. That's going to bring her point total all the way up to seven early in this game. Johnson to Harlow, Harlow inside the E. She does a little fadeaway jump and knocks it down. Brings up point total up to eight points. Alcorn looking to push the ball to Brown. Brown turns it over. KJ Johnson bring the ball up the court. It was the a delay of starting the clock. KJ Johnson calling the play, swings it to, turns over again with the careless passes by KJ Johnson. Easy layup for number 12, Nakia Chatham. And Cheatham could have dunked that one. Most definitely. How wide open she was. We gotta watch out, the careless passes. Good pass to Malia Gibson, opening the corner. A little hard. And 20 seconds it. to go in this first half. The Braves hold a 42 to 27 advantage. They hold it for the last shot of the half. Let's see what Marcus got for us. She does a hezzy. Kiss it up to Griffin. Griffin wide up for three. She Griffin misses straight it. on three. Miss rebounded by the devil. Let's Saffold will take the last shot and he's it. Oh, and hits a dancer on the sideline. Knocked out. 42-27 ball game. Alcorn Braves with the advantage. Devil X fighting. Michaela, what do you want to see from the Devil X as we get into this second half of this ball game to try to make this game competitive? 
I want to watch them make better passes, more crisp pass, fake a pass to make a pass, play better defense, knock down their open shots. Let's just play ball. Let's win, man. What you think, And I just want to thank everybody that tuned in. You know, the Devil Legends need to play a cleaner game on offense and defense. Valley Sports Network, the best sports network in the nation. I'd like to thank everybody at home that tuned in. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after this break. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales, driven forward, compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 one, one, and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. 
Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job. But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. And Valley Sports Network, we are back. As the Delta Devilettes look to climb out of this hole that they have dug for themselves in the first half. As the Alcorn State Braves have absolutely came for business. Destiny Brown leads all scores with 10. Tajane Wright follows behind with eight. Zarya Harlow and Lisa Saffer both have eight points. Zania White with seven. The Alcorn Braves 50% from the field goal. And the Delta Devil is a 34%, 33% from the three Alcorn State Braves. And the Devil is a one for eight, 12% from beyond the arc. Mississippi Valley State. Delta Devils switch up their starting lineup for the second half. Switching out engine name Mick for Donald Alyssa Southwood. And it was a foul Destiny on Destiny Brown. Brown. That'll be her second foul and be NVSU basketball Destiny on the sideline. It's KJ Johnson bring the balls up the court to call a play and get something going for the Delta Devils in this second half as we look to break this lead and get this dub for the night. Alyssa Saffer looking for the shot. She drives, kicks it down to KJ Johnson. KJ Johnson to Malia Gibson. One more to Hunt. One more to Saffer. Saffer open for three. No good. And this rebound by number 11. Back is as she pushes, looking to take it coast to coast, and she's fouled. They call on Malia Gibson. That's her first foul of the night. First person on first team. Number 25, Tajane Wright will be taking it out for Alcorn. She passes it in to Backus. Hey, 
And the Alcorn State Braves had this game where they won it. They don't have to be in a rush at all. They're in the driver's Stolen seat. Stolen by Saffo Sapp to Harlow to Gibson. And it's laid up easy. And Gibson hand with a nice left hand laid in transition. Thirteen point ball game. Valley seem to be stepping their defense up. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson pushing the ball, looking for something up to Hunt. Hunt looking. She loses it, turns it over, and it's out of bounds. It'll still be NVSU basketball. And the Devil Legs have stepped their defense up. Here early in this second half. Saffa wide open. She travels. It'll be back all corn basketball as back is bring the balls up the court. NVSU not allowing. Much of those easy baskets as they did in the first half shot up and rebounded by number 25 right and down to Cheatham and she gets the easy lay. Easy lay by Cheatham. Andre Mick making her way to the score table. She looks to check in for the Devil X. And alongside her, Alexis Eagle chasing. Harlow swings to Gibson, Gibson to Johnson, Johnson to Hunt. Hunson look, Hunt looking to attack with the floater. Down the lane and is rebounded by Brown for Alcorn. Outlet it to Backus as she looks to push and looks for something. Backus on the right wing. Down inside to Brown. Brown with the body. Good D by Harlow and rebound by Gibson. Gibson pushing the ball. Kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson skip past the Hunt. Hunt looking for something to attack and has nothing. Out the Johnson wide open for the three shot up. No good. Rebounded by Brown for Alcorn. Back is pushing the ball with a nice pass to right. As they up this to a 17 point ball game in the timeout by Coach Anderson for MVSU. And she want to talk about it. As the double it's uh Still in a hole. This third quarter has came out, and they approved their defense. But are still fighting. Valley Sports Network, I would like to thank everybody that's tuned in. We'll be right back after this break. And Valley Sports Network, we're back. Mick with the ball at the high post, looking for something. She turns it over. Well, it's a jump ball. And there'll still be Mississippi Valley State basketball underneath their basket. We got us a 17-point ball game. Six minutes and 29 seconds left to go in this third quarter. 
Malia Gibson taking it out, looking for some. Pass it in to Mick. Mick attempts to pass it to Williams. And it is the last touch by Cheatham. Eagle chasing in the Mick. Mick to Johnson. Johnson calling the play. And the uh, Del Delta Devilettes are a 17 point hole. Pump fake by Mick. She loses it. Passes to Williams. Williams out to Johnson. Johnson wide open for the three up and bang. She knocks nice it down. shot by KJ Johnson. Money for Kerrigan. Way to knock, a, knock it down, get us some momentum going in this third quarter. Bacchus drags it out, give it to 25 right. She tries to answer back, and it's no good. Rebounded by Johnson as she pushes the ball. Pass it up to Eagle Chasing. Eagle Chasing attacking has nothing. To Johnson, Johnson attacks, and she's fouled by number four for Alcorn, Caitlin Watkins. And she'll be going to the free throw line to shoot two. KJ Johnson shooting 79% from the free throw line on the season. Fourteen point ball game. Carrying Johnson at the line to shoot two. First one up and it's good. It's KJ Johnson knocks down the free throw. Her first free throw of the game. And she knocks down both. NVSU looking to get in a press as Watkins dribbles through it to Brown. Kiss it out in the corner to Open shooter. And this last, last touch. touch by Alcorn. And the Devil Lips are looking to get out of the hole. Malia Gibson steps out, turns it over. It'll be all corn basketball on their basket. A bit low to cheat them. Cheatham coming off the screen. Here's Brown. Nice right shot by Wright. Shot. And Wright gets up point total up to 12. With that nice mid-range jumper. Stolen by Brown. Brown kicks it out to Abilo. Abilo attacking baseline with the float off the backboard. No good. And this last touch. And with that stop, we will be taking a media timeout as the Alcorn State Braves hold a 14-point advantage over your Mississippi Valley Devil Lits. Michaela, what do you think the Devil Lits need to do? They want to make this game competitive and ultimately gain the lead and pick up a win here at home. So far, they're picking up their defense intensity, so I need them to pick that up a little more, take care of the ball, limit their turnovers, and just Believe that they can win, come back and win this game. There's plenty of basketball left. So we can win, Devilettes. So let's just prove everybody wrong and let's win the ball game. Well, there you have it, Valley Sports Network. We'll be right back after this break. To all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters, it's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023, and April 11th is 100 days away, and we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000, or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small, and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student-athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. 
We can only elevate together. Alcorn, and we're back, folks. Alcorn in the press. Hunt down to Mick. Mick with the turnaround shot, air ball. Saved by Eagle Chase. That's not a high percentage jump shot right there. No, it's not. A follow away jumper. That's right with the crossover, with the pass to Brown. And Brown is just doing right her in. thing. Roy and Brown having their stuff tonight. As they both bring, they told up to 12 points. Yes, ma'am. Hunt to Mick. Mick with the, ooh, fillet. And Mick gets a little fancy with the layup. A bit low to right. Right looking for some. She passes number 24, Henderson. Good D by Eagle Chase, and it'll still be in all corn basketball. Ambello with the under the basket. Bounce pass, pass to Henderson. It's turned over, stolen by Kristen Hunt. Kristen Hunt controls the basketball, looking for some. She nearly loses it, catches it. Skip pass to Johnson. Johnson wide open for the three. And last. couldn't get it to fall. And Mick nearly rebounds it, but gonna say his last touched by the devil let, so the Braves will gain a position. 14-point ball game. Three minutes and 25 seconds left to go on this third quarter. There's a bill up bringing it across the court. Looking for Henderson down low on the block. Henderson to Brown. Brown wide open at the elbow, and she knocks it down easy. All going back in the 2-2-1 press. As they breaks it, Eagle chasing with the lay. She misses it. Rebound by Wright. Right looking to push it to Billow. Back to right, right, right over for the three. No good. Rebounded by Watkins. A tough layup by Brown. And Brown got her point total up to 16. To 16. And VSU break the press again. Filet, ooh, and million Mick dollar move. The layup. One cent finish. Watkins pushing it. She gives it to Abila. On the top of the key, calling the play. Down the side to right. Right looking for Henderson, has nothing to Brown. Brown right open again, shots no good. Rebound by, by Mick. Mick pushes up to KJ Johnson as she's open by herself and misses the layup. But they call a foul, and she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. And they call a foul on number 24. Kiara Henderson. And it appears that her teammate didn't see her. Kind of was a late pass there in transition, don't you think, KK? Yes, I agree. Still was able to get it to her, get the five. Just got to make the layup to make it a three point play. And my number three, Kerrigan Johnson. With these 12 minutes left in the ball game, Kayla, what do you think NVSU Delta Devilish should do? Play better defense, be more precise, mm -hmm. efficient, and just crisp with everything they're doing right now, whether that be offensively, defensively, you know, passing. Everything plays hand in hand. And right now, the Devilish Lits are lacking. I agree with you, Kayla. Hopefully with these last two games of the season, we can wreck on that to carry it over to next season. Four wide open as she attacks and hits nothing. Miss rebounded by Mick, Mick to Gibson. Gibson Chris, kicks it to Kristen Hunt, Kristen Hunt with the jumper. No good, and it's rebounded by Ford. 
as she outlets it to Abilo. And Abilo pushing the ball, and she's not stopped by no one on defense. So Ford on the elbow. Shot up, no good. She gets her own rebound. And it's stolen by Gibson. And Eagle chasing with the tough move and turns it over. She tried to pass the Nick and the Billow back to the half Watkins. court. And Watkins with the three point shot up and no good. Rebound by four with the wide open layup and she misses. Rebound by Eagle Chase a minute to go in this third quarter. Sixteen point ball game. Staff will call him to play for Devil X. Mick for the jumper. No good. It's rebounded by Griffin. And right now the Devil X are trying to get it all back in one shot. And Abello looks to be trying to take a lot of the clock down. And below to Griffin. Griffin the four, nearly turned over. She saves it. She attacks and lays it up, and it's good. And a nice layup. With one second left to go on the shot clock. Nice layup of Kyriel, four. Two, one, turned over. Shot won't count. And with that, the Alcorn State Braves will be taking an 18-point advantage into the fourth quarter. Hot shooting, hot scoring by Destiny Brown. Destiny Brown leads all scores tonight with 16. And Tajane Wright follows right behind her with 12. The Delta Devil Lips are looking to get out of this hole and snap this 19 game losing streak. I'd like to thank everybody that's tuned into the broadcast. You're watching the best sports network in the nation. Valley yes, Sports Network. We'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned, folks. And Valley Sports Network, we are back as the Alcorn State Braves hold an 18-point advantage as we get into the final 10 minutes of the contest. Delta Devil Lips, let's fight. Griffin wide open at the top of the key for three and hits nothing. And misfires. Mick with the ball down low to Williams. Williams with the up and under lay. Nearly gets the and one. She'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Really wanted that ball to fall in for Ariana Williams. And Williams will be at the line of something. Her first free throw, and it's up and good. And missed the second. Offensive rebound by Mick. She turns it back over to Henderson. Henderson pushing the ball for Alcorn. And she tries to go coast to coast, and she does. She was. Speedy, wasn't it? Flash. And it's turned over by KJ Johnson. And she attempts to throw the ball to Alyssa Saffold. 
And it'll be back all corn ball. This is a 19 point ball game. And I would just love to see Double S come back and win or. Yes, take it to overtime. Lock in, let's play ball. Griffin tried to get the pass to Watkins. Good D by Saffron, it'll be. It'll so be far, the double is point differential in swag play has been around 20 points every game. Yes. KJ Johnson to Gibson to Saffron. Saffron looking, nearly turns it over, but they call it a foul. Nineteen point advantage. Excuse me, eighteen point advantage. Shot up and knocks it down. Under name Mick. And she ups her score total to four points on the night. Seventeen point advantage, the Alcorn State Braves are still in it. Driver's seat of this game. Griffin to Henderson. Henderson dribbles it out, passes to Watkins. Watkins wide open. She attacks the baseline with the floater. Misses it, and it's rebound by Johnson as they fight for the rebound, and it'll be in VSU basketball. Got some substitutes coming in to the table. A new face for all corn. Come on, let's go, girl. Number 15. Janae Anderson checks in. Her first appearance of tonight's ball game. Number two, Zanaya White back in the ball game. And as well, number five, Destiny Brown. Valley looking to break. All corn, 2-2-1 two, two, press. As KJ Johnson calls the play on the left corner. And she attacks nearly all the way, but she's fouled. By number 14. Number 14, Kayla Abillo. Kayla Abillo. And Abillo. Johnson taking the ball out, looking for some passes it in to Mick. Mick bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson back to Mick. And Johnson with the Mick with the dribble drive and he rolls out. Offense rebound by Johnson. It's blocked by Brown as White pushes the ball to Abillo. Abillo stops and pops and she hits nothing. And it's rebounded by Gibson. One shot is air ball. Down inside the Mick, Mick with the elbow jumper, and it's good. He brings her total up to six points. Nice shot by Mick. Yes. Right now, and Janae Mick has the high hand, so we gotta keep feeding it to her if we want to close this lead. Most definitely. Brown to white, white with the pump fake with the easy layover, Mick. That's for bringing the ball up for MVSU. Is, and she passes down to Williams. Williams with the turnaround jumper, and it's and good. good. Ariana, Williams. Ariana Williams doesn't really get much playing time. Comes in and getting her point total up. It ain't about how long you play. It's about what you do when you play. Most definitely. Way to step up, Ariana. Griffin with the ball on the elbow. Looks and turns it over, but it's still Mick's running. Mick looking for something, pass nothing. Lays it up, and she's fouled. It was a two on one. I believe she could have passed it up, but at least she drew the foul, and she's going to the free throw line to shoot two. As it's a 15 point ball game. And Mick took it coast to coast and is fouled. And is at the line shooting free throws. 
Her first free throw shots of the game. Knocks down the first. Second free throw up a good. She cuts the lead to a 13 point ball game with six minutes left to go. Happy to see MVSU cutting the lead down as we get close to the end of this ball game. Number 15 with the step back three as she gets it stuck. Anjanae Mick attempting to jump up and get the ball out the rim and she does. Janae Mick might as well dunk the ball. MVSU yes, getting a little full court pressure by Abillo. To the left wing to Saffo. Saffo then to Williams. Williams with the turnaround. Jay again, no good. It's rebound by Brown. And the Braves are in full control. Yes. Nice entry pass. And Cheatham with the turnaround. Nearly travels, but she gets her shot up before she picks that other foot up. Bring the lead back up to 15. 15-point game. Saffle with the three, no good. Last touch by Ariana Williams. It'll be all corn basketball. And the Devil Lits are trying to get it all back with one possession. Yeah, we can't make a 15 point play. So one play at a time, one defense possession at a time. Yeah, there, are, there are nearly six minutes to go, and there's plenty of time to plenty. cut this lead down and tie it up and try to force OT or get, the, get the lead and, and pick up a win. I agree. Caleb, if you the coach right now, what's your game plan? Just create early offense with defense. You know, give us a better chance to score. Mm -hmm. Take nothing but high percentage shots when we get into our half-court offense. And just make it easier on, the, on us. I agree. That's going to be a foul from behind on Harlow as she fouls. Brown, Destiny Brown with 16 points leads all scores tonight. And she's having an absolute ball game. 16 points, seven rebounds, two blocks to go along with that. And her first free throw is up and good. You know, points all to 17. Second one up, and it's good. Making it a eight, making her points all to 18. 17 point ball game. Ariana Wilson Williams coming in for Malia Gibson. Four minutes and 50 seconds to go in this ball game. KJ Johnson playing around with the ball. We don't got time to dribble. We need to be setting up a play trying to score. Shot that's, up, air ball. That's what I said. We need to take a high percentage looks as. That was a very, very low percentage shot, and Lexi Eagle chasing with a tough defense on the other side, nearly forced a turnover. However, the Braves maintain the possession, and Abello will be looking to call offensive set for the Lady Braves. Cheatham wide open on the elbow, shot up, no good, rebounded by Abello. Abello down there with all them trees getting the offensive rebound. And with that stop, we'll be taking a media timeout as the Alcorn State Braves Hold a 17-point advantage over the Mississippi Valley Devil Lits. Mississippi Valley Devil Lits are trying to fight back into this one as we get into the later stages of this game. Four minutes and 15 seconds to go. Valley Sports Network, I would like to thank you for tuning in. We will be right back after this break. Stay tuned.
Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. By Zania White. And way to answer back, Ariana Williams. And Ariana Williams is. She came to play tonight, as she should. The last two games of the season, she's making a statement. 17 point ball game. A bit of rod open at the three. She attacks baseline. He's nothing. Rebounded by Eagle Chasing, Eagle Chasing the Johnson. And the double is uh, not playing with a sense of urgency here. Not at all. Because Harlow was a good rebound drive. by Harlow. And she's been quiet tonight, sitting at 10 points. And Harlow leads all scores for the double is, if I'm not mistaken. She most definitely is leading all scores. Cheatham with the drive, good deep ball. Eagle chase stolen by Hunt. Hunt pushing the ball, looking for some with the dump out pass to Harlow. She lays it up Harlow and good. They cut this lead to a 13 point 13 ball, ball game. game. And with that, the Alcorn State Braves will take a timeout and want to talk about it. 13-point ball game, Braves with the advantage, and the Devil Lips are trying to post a late game surge here at the IW Harrison Complex. Okay, what do you have to say about this game thus far? i say so far we'll go on our runs, then we'll lay down, go back to sleep, and let them up the lead even more. I feel like we got to keep our intensity going, play defense, and continue to cut the lead to win this ball game. Yes, we definitely have to play defense. We definitely have to play Great defense. They don't have to play clean offense. Yes, I agree. Yes, and, and make it harder on the Braves so they can't set up in the half court defense. Right. Force them to play transition off a defense. Force them to foul. Yes. Force them to make mistakes. Force Two minutes them to and 50 point six seconds left in the ball game. Plenty of time to break this lead. What you think, Caleb? Plenty of time. The devil lets come out and play with a sense of urgency. The next two and a half minutes to go. Mm hmm. MVSU change their defense and gets a quick foul. And the Braves are. Taking their time and the Devil Liz are trying to play aggressively on defense, but that will be a foul called. MVSU trying to and trap Cabello a below dribbles out. Number 15, Anderson through. wide open and knocks it. And Anderson down. knocks down the three. From downtown. Janae Anderson from downtown. Kristen with the pump fake, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson has nothing. She's looking for some inside the hollow, down the eagle chasing. And there's going to be a foul call. Foul on number 12. Nakaya Cheatham. So at least eagle chasing will be going to the free throw line to attempt two. The Lexi Eagle takes the first free throws Up of the ball good. game. Eagle Chase is sitting at three points for tonight. And with that, every offensive rebound by Williams into Harlow. Turned over as White gets the ball, looking and to White take it coast to coast it. with the Euro step. Block ball. Nice Hunt. And Hunt with the block. She looking to push it to Harlow. Harlow to Williams, Williams with a double clutch layup, and it's good. Way to turn that defense into offense you was talking about, Caleb. Yes, ma'am, man. Ariana Williams is absolutely eating tonight. She is. Got her total points up to seven. Yes, off the bench. She definitely good job got some tonight, energy. Ariana. Yes. Trying to get the steal. Forces a turnover and it'll be MVSU basketball. Yes, MVSU playing Great better defense. defense. Great yes. defense. Past couple minutes, but 
ultimately it would be too late. NVS, you rolling the ball to slow the clock down some. Hunt with the basketball, looking for a bucket with the behind the back. Pull up Jay. No good as rebound by Cheatham. Cheatham get the ball to Abilo as she tries to slow it down and run some time off this clock with a minute 15 left to go. And uh, Lady Braves will pick up a win here on the road. It ain't over yet, Caleb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turned over by VSU, but Cheatham gets it back as Williams and Zaria wasn't on the same page. Offense rebound by Brown. Harlow hits her head. She's on the ground for a second. And she's holding the left side of her head, and she appears to be a bit shaken up here. She sits there trying to control herself. We got Anjanae Mick coming to the sub table. I think she's coming in to get Harlow. That'll be it for Harlow for the night. Yeah. It's her total points to be 10 points. Oh, 47 seconds to go. Um, Kayla, I think it's safe to say that the Alcorn State um, Lady Braves will pick up a win here at the RW Harris Complex and will improve to eight and nine in the SWAC. Two and O against the Devilettes this year. And the Devilettes will fall to two and 26, O and 17 in SWAC play and extend the losing streak to 20 games. Yes, I'm very, 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 very upset about this one. Me too, this was definitely a winnable game right here, Caleb. Yes, but the Alcorn State Braves came out and created a nice lead for themselves. They were firing on all cylinders and made it very hard for the Devilettes to fight back and the Devilettes just couldn't do enough to make this game competitive. I agree. Can't do they nothing. They waited too late. I agree. We can't do nothing but learn from this and transfer it over into the next game. Yes, man. Good pass by KJ Johnson to Mick as they cut the lead to 11 with 25 seconds left to go in this ball game. Almost turned over again by Alcorn. And Saturday, the Devil Lips will take on the Jackson State Tigers of Jackson State University. D I love. D I love. And right now, the Jackson State Tigers are sitting at 15 and 1 in the swag play, 10 and 0 at home, 7 to 7 away from home. But they are on a 12 game win streak as they come to the RW Harrison Complex. and. That'll be the last game of SWAC play for both teams to wrap up the season before transitioning to the SWAC tournament. My broadcast partner for this game, Michaela Etienne, you know. Michaela, how do you feel? How do you feel the Devil X played in this game? Um, I feel that the Devil X definitely played good. They played better in the second half than they did in the first half. I will say they stepped up on their defense, turned the ball over less. And talked on defense more. The thing is, we just got to knock down our shots. Yes. 69 58 is your final score. I would like to thank everybody that tuned into the Valley Sports Network. But we're not done tonight for your swag double hitter as the men take on the All Corn State Braves at the RW Harrison Complex. And they look to make it two in a row at home. Yes, sir. And I believe we get it done. I do too. Stay tuned. We got Andre coming to commentate the next game. And we'll be right back. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com.
The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000. Or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. 
innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline, the high standards, the lessons, both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year. To all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters, it's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 one, one, and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales, driven forward, compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student-athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student-athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to Elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5,000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5,000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales, driven forward, compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000. Or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MVSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
and Valley Sports Network. We're back to begin this men's game. It's the Alcorn State Braves coming to town to take on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Delta. Alcorn State Braves, 16 and 12, 13 and 3 in the swag. 5 and 25, Valley Delta Devils, 4 and 12 in the swag. Andre, how you feel about this game, man? The Delta Devils at home. You tell me how you feel about the Delta Devils being at home. Well, I feel like about to get a dub, man. Yep. You feel the same. All right. We won last time out against the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions, so we would look to use that game as momentum tonight against the Alcorn State Braves. We faced them about two weeks ago, and we couldn't get the job done on the road. Let everybody know how we get down at home. Tonight's starting lineup for your Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. Number zero, Raekwon Brown. Number 22, Michael Barber. Number 15, Alvin Stridick. Number 11, Terry Collins. And number one, Tyron Mosley. And for your Alcorn State Braves, the Kedrian Thorne, Dontrell McQuarter, Jeremiah Kendall, Otis Walker, and number 13, excuse me, number two, Byron Joshua. And last game out, Terry Collins nearly made history as he tied the three-point record at Mississippi Valley State with nine threes in one game. Let's see if he can break that record tonight. And the Alcorn State Braves get it done early as Dontrell McQuarter gets the first bucket of tonight's game for both teams. Alcorn State landed. Alcorn State led by coach Landon Bussell. Early on, Terry Collins. Alongside assistant coaches Cy Alexander, Gary Smith, and Benjamin Mendebaum. And Terry already has two. First points for the Delta Devils. Nice turnaround, no good. And Andre, I got a chance to talk to. I got a chance to talk to Coach Lucille last night during a shoot around, and he said that the R.W. Harrison Complex is one of the toughest environments in the SWAC. Said Coach Ivory is a very, very well respected coach and a great coach in his own right. And he has some good basketball players on his team: Kadal Waller, Raekwon Brown, Terry Collins, and. Time over some guys he mentioned last night, and any given night you could lose it'll beat him. One thing he continued to say, Coach Ivory is one of the best coaches he knows at preparing. And he would like to stop the Delta Devils from slowing the game down. He wanna make it a track meet. As he said, the Delta Devils transition defense is not up to par, but their half court defense is elite in this league. Another couple points from Coach. Boussel. Coach Boussel, he wants to crash the glass extremely hard. Get the Delta Devils out their zone. Get in transition early and crash the offensive glass. And force them to get out their primary defense so they can get some easy points tonight. And right now, Alcorn State leads the SWAC. They are sitting at number one. That's retired at number one. The Grambling Tigers, is that correct? Turnover, Delta Devils. Early offense for the Braves. Yeah, it kind of slow here early on. The Jeremiah Kendall. This the easy basket. Foul on the Braves. On number one, Duntrell McQuarter. The 6'7", 194 out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Alvin Street get the line for the first time tonight. And right now the Alcorn State Braves have opened up a four point advantage here early. 
Yes, you're correct. Uh, Alcorn State Braves and Grambling State Tigers are both tied for their first place spot in the SWAC standings. And the SWAC basketball season comes to an end this weekend. And right now, I'm looking for seeding for the tournament. So how important do you think these games right now are for the Alcorn State Braves? But even more important, don't you think for the Delta Devils to try to shake up the standings? For sure, for sure. If the Braves want to remain number one, they have to try their best to win tonight's game. It's going to be a tough game. Delta Devils at home. Mr. Black Eye. Everyone knows how the Delta Devils get at home. Four out of the five wins coming right here in the R.W. Harrison Hyper Complex. So it'll be a tough game tonight, Caleb. And I can Delta, agree, Andre. The Braves is not going to be a cake. Not going to be a cakewalk. And Stradick just couldn't get a grip on the ball just then. Turnover, Delta Devils. Nice entry pass to find Jeremiah Kendall. And Jeremiah Kendall out to a hot start with four as he leads all scores. And with that, Coach Ivan want to take a time out and talk about it. Andre, how do you feel right now about this game? And it seems to... Braves are doing exactly what they want. They want to turn into a track meet. It seems like they're doing just that. They are. They're feeding Jeremiah Kendall back door. He's running and they're gunning. Yes. Most definitely, he leads all scores with six. And we get to our first break. I want to thank everybody that tuned into the broadcast, and we'll be right back after this break. Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023, and April 11th is 100 days away, and we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000, or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small, and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student-athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. And Valley Sports Network, we are back. As the Alcorn State Braves hold a 14-point advantage, here in the early going of this ball game. A couple early subs here for Coach Bussell as number 32, Ladarius Marshall, checks in a familiar face around Mississippi. Number five, Keandre Montgomery. And number three, Trayvon Wade, check in for the Braves. As a subs for the Delta Devils, Daniel Umo checks in early alongside Ernest Minton. Three-point shot up by Terry Collins, missed. Rebound about the Delta Devils, and Raekwon Brown tried to clean up the mess. Braves out in transition, looking for another quick score. They've had success early on. Um, Caleb, it's just kind of an interesting fact. Detroit Mercy's Antoine Davis is 21 points away from Pistol Pete's all-time NCAA scoring record. And that is that is some good stuff because Pistol Pete record is it's been held for 53 years. Most definitely. And three-point shot up by the Keedron Wade, the Keedron Thorne, as we talk about that. And the Delta Devils have a top scoring leader. All time of their own. Alfonso Ford. Yep, yep, number five. He's number five on NCAA table for scoring. And slow start here for the Delta Devils early on as they trail by seven with 14 minutes and 57 seconds to, to go in this first half. And the Delta Devils need to make shots so that they can get back into that half-court defense. 
that zone that Kobu Cell is so scared about. The range up Re no good. Rebounded by Umo. Umo to Mosley. And Mosley looks to find some offense for the Delta Devil here early. Nearly turned over. Mosley looking to create. And Man. Mosley created. Out the glass. <laughs> nice shot. Um, Caleb, Mosley's been playing quite well lately. What, what do you think it is? I think it's the headband. Uh, it could be the headband, but I think Coach Ivory told him, you know what, man, just go out there and ball. I'm not going to hold you back anymore. Turn around, shot up, and missed by Keandre Montgomery. And he took another one, three-point shot, missed, rebounded by Mosley. And Mosley will bring it to the front court. Delta Devils looking to score again. And he found Terry Collins. Terry Collins. Terry Collins shot, shot up and no good. Cleaned up by Minton. Minton. With a nice putback layup. Minton, the scrappy, the scrappy player from the Delta. Yes. Ernest Minton, the 6'5", junior out of Indianola, Mississippi. About 10 miles up the road. A lot of his stats might not show up on the stat sheet, but he's for sure getting the job done. Almost he like, plays a, his role like well. a Draymond Green. Keon J. Montgomery with a nice pull-up jumper. And Braves. Faithful on the foul right there, but referee gonna say there was no contact as Mosley brings it to the front court. And I've liked the way that the Delta Devils offense is operated. When Mosley comes in as the point guard, I think he's a great, great spark plug for our offense, great offensive initiator for us. And Minton loses his shoe, we pass to Terry Collins. Collins. And Terry Collins off to a slow start tonight. And yeah, he started this game out 0 for 3. Nice transition dunk in traffic by number three to Trevin Wade. Seven point ball game. And uh, the Braves are actually kind of executing their game plan yep. here early on. Kobu Sale said he wanted to force the Delta Devils to have to run in transition. And he got them running. And right now, it appears that the Delta Devils can't keep up. And we have some early substitutions here for the Delta Devils. It's Kadal Waller and Danny Washington. Come in early. Danny Umo will go have a seat on the bench. As well as Raekwon Brown. Tyron Mosley inbound the ball for the Delta Devils. Let's see if Waller can get our, get our offense some spark here. And that would be a turnover. Minton wasn't ready for the pass. Early turnover for Waller. He checks in, but Waller is a nice, nice point guard out the bench for the Delta Devils and has been all throughout swag play. Nice shot. Missed. Rebounded by Ladarius Marshall. Ladarius Marshall is fouled on his layup attempt. He'll be going to the line to shoot two free throws. They're going to call that foul on time. Mosley is going to be his first personal team foul number one. And with that stop, we'll be taking a media timeout as the Alcorn State Braves come in and now hold a seven point advantage. Andre, what do you have to say about the game thus far? On the first nine minutes, the Braves, they're playing with a nice pace. They have zero turnovers through the first nine minutes of this ball game. And they're just getting out of transition. Easy points. Most definitely. They are definitely getting out of transition. And being clean with the ball, the Delta Devils have four turnovers to the Alcorn State Braves. Zero. 15-8 ball game. Let's see what we have in store at Valley Sports Network. We'll be right back after this break. Okay, Caleb.
and we're back at Valley Sports Network. We have number 32, the White Howard at the line. Correction, Ladarius Marshall at the line. As he looked like Shaquille O'Neal on that miss. Second free throw up and good. And Ladarius Marshall, the University of New Orleans transfer, has played at a couple universities before making a stop at Alcorn State. He's a part of the New Orleans roster and the University of Southern Mississippi roster. Mr. Black Eye himself, Tyron Mosley. 16-11 ball game. Delta Devils may, may have came out of this timeout with a chip on their shoulder. Yes, yes. Shot up and good by Keandre Montgomery. The 6 7 four out of Jackson, Mississippi. Montgomery's came off the bench and been an instant spark as he has four early on. Washington finds Collins. Collins with the dribble drive. Find Washington. Washington with the skip pass. And a nice emphatic block by Ladarius Marshall. As he said, get that stuff out of here. Yes, that's that's exactly what he said, Andre. And he will be going to have a seat on the bench as he is relieved of his duties as Jeremiah Kendall will come in for him to 6-6 forward out of Bronx, New York. And Byron Joshua looks to set up the offense for the Braves here in this position. And Joshua runs into trouble and kicks it out to Montgomery. To and Montgomery with a nice drive, can't get it to fall. Collins kicks it to Washington. Washington, a nice move out the dribble, and they're gonna say he stepped out. Another turnover by the Delta Devils. They have five on a night. In the early stages of this first half. And that's a number we need to look out on, Andre, is the Delta Devils will not be able to win if they continue to turn the ball over how they are. Runner up, no good. Rebound by Waller. By Kendall. Time Mola gets him off his feet. Time Washington, Washington with a rare three point shot by Washington. Danny Washington knocks down a three. Danny Washington? He shot a three? Is that the correct name? Is that, is that Danny Washington? Danny Washington with a rare three point attempt, and it was money. Danny might need to attempt a couple more of those, don't you think, Andre? For sure, Caleb. As Andre, as Danny has played inside the arc all season, turnover by the Devils, the Devils and the Alcorn State Braves push it into the front court. Nice Byron Joshua. Low. First turnover of the game by the Braves. But Jeremiah Kendall whistle with the turnover. Said gonna say he traveled. And Otis Walker will be checking in to relieve Keandre Montgomery of his duties. Ivan Strady checking in for the Delta Devils. As he subbed out number 24. Ernest Minton, as you can see. And Koala looks to the offense for the Delta Devils. Terry Collins with the entry pass to Strady. Strady looking to work. Strady find Washington. Washington to Mosley. Mosley in his face. Mr. Mosley. Black Eye. Mr. Black Eye. Mr. Black Eye. Hey, look, we, we keep forgetting the eye patches. Taylor. Yes. We keep forgetting the eye patches. I'm so sorry, Alcorn. 
and it's time. Mosley, his second three of the game. Two for three from beyond the arc, 66%. Danny Washington sitting up the offense for the Dells Devils. And they trade by three with seven minutes and 50 seconds. And Washington finds Waller. Waller with the move out the dribble. Nearly turned over. It is turned over to Braves. Gained the possession. Byron Joshua kicks it to the corner. Three point shot up. No good. Rebounded by the Braves. Stolen by Washington. Washington picks his pocket with the back tail. Time Mosley. Mr. Black Eye. Shot he can't get that one to go. Nice look. Braves out in transition. And nice outlet pass by Byron Joshua to Dontrell McCorder. McCorder slams it home on the other end of the court. As Raekwon Brown makes his way to the scores table. Okay, there's an, another transition bucket by the Braves. Yes, another one. Transition has been the bread and Butter here early on for the Braves. And Stradick finds Washington. Washington to Collins. Mr. Daddy! I'm glad you corrected yourself. Terry. Pass to Collins. Excuse um, me, Terry yeah. Curry. Terry Curry, yeah, get it right. As he gets his first three to go in this ball game, 20 to 22 ball game. High scoring. And nice layup by Dominique Brooding. He couldn't get it to go. It's time Mosley goes all the way. Keeps it to Stradick. Stradick with a nice left hand layup through traffic. Stradick. The Devils are on fire. And they have it all knotted up here at 22. They went on a run of their own here. Let's see if the Devils are able to make a stop and get the lead for the first time tonight. I think they do, Andre. Nice pass. Nice layup by Byron Joshua. And they're going to call the foul, and he'll be going to the line to complete the and one play. And everybody is tuned in. I want you to see this nice layup by Stradick. In traffic. In traffic. 24-22 ball game. Alcorn with the advantage. Andre, I feel good. This Delta Devils. Were down in the hole, but they fought through adversity. And it's about how you overcome adversity. That goes to show like what type of team that we have here. We didn't get down. When we were down on the scoreboard, our hearts were still in it. Our hearts are still in it. And we fought back early. How do you feel, man? Um, I think the Dills the Devil knew they were at home. I think they let the Braves have their fun early on. Yeah. And I think it's time to play now. That's exactly what it was. It's time to play. We have a nice turnout here at home. Valley Sports Network, whiteout game here at the RW Harrison Complex. You can see me and Andre with the nice Mississippi Valley Delta Devil. Yes. Got quarter zip Nike with the check on us. Nike. Shout out to the bookstore. Shout out to AD Hakeem. Shout out to the baseball team. Shout out to the baseball team. The baseball team absolutely been getting it done. If they had a two and one weekend against the Arkansas. Pine Bluff Lions. Yes, sir, they did. And I would like to shout out Devon Mims. He leads NCAA with stolen bases thus far. And it's a lot of guys stealing bases out here in the country, man. So salute to him. Big shout out to the baseball team. Have a game this Saturday against Tougaloo. Let's get, let's get the dub there. Shout out to the Southball team. They take on the St. Peter's Peacocks this weekend, the weekend series. It's a lot going on here on campus in Itabina. The Delta Devils are back at it again this Saturday against Jackson State. Yes, sir. Let's get it done here today against the Braves of Alcorn. They came out here from Norman, Mississippi. We're going to send them back sick. Let's see if the Delta Devils can come out of this timeout still clicking. If they trail by two. And Brian Joshua at the line to complete the and one play as he knocks it down. And with that, the Alcorn State Braves take a three-point advantage. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing that the Delta Devils are worried about.
Three points is nothing. Especially with Terry Curry on your team. Nice block. Damn, I, I couldn't see who it was on the block right there. I think it was a Darius Marshall. Was that a Darius Marshall? Once that would again. be his second block of the game. Is he's holding the paint down for the Braves. Danny Washington Danny with a Washington. Three. three. Danny three. Washington. Um, we need the same thing to Danny Green. I, he took the words right out of my mouth, Caleb. Danny took Green? the words right out of my mouth, Danny, Caleb. Danny is two for two on his three-point shots tonight, and Danny probably is only taking two threes the whole season up until this point. Shout out, Danny. Sure, shout out, Danny. Tie ball game here. 25-25. Five minutes to go in this first half. Let's see if the Delta Dills can take the lead for the first time tonight with this position. Terry Collins to pull up Jay. No good. Rebounded by Marshall. Marshall gives to Joshua. Joshua working on George Ivory. And Keandre Montgomery with the straight on three. No good. Rebound about Marshall. They're going to call a foul on Stradick. He tried to rip the ball away from Marshall. Marshall looked like he could have played outside linebacker in the SEC. Defensive end for the the Rams. Pretty big guy. I think he chose the wrong sport, don't you think, Andre? For sure. And Michael Barber would make his first appearance of the game. A usual starter. Excuse me. It's not Michael's first appearance of the game. Three-point shot, no good by Joshua. Rebounded by Danny. And he's gonna have it stripped away. And outlet pass to Keandre Montgomery. Layup miss. And they're gonna call a foul on Stradick. There's, there's a kind of late call on the play Fourth by the referee. Foul. Fourth team foul, second person on Stradick, and the crowd is letting the refs late know foul. how they feel. And the fans are not feeling it. The fans are. Absolutely. Letting the ref know that that was not the proper call. And I think the crowd, I think the crowd has has forced a, a referees into a review. Yes, they will come over to the score table and check it out on cam and See what's going on. 25 25 ball game, Andre. The Delta Devils are absolutely fight. I want to shout out Danny Washington for his hot shooting as he came in and he's two for two. Hot rare shooting performance for, for Washington. Yes, and I think he should keep shooting them. Most definitely. Alcorn State tried to pull away, but the Delta Devils would not let them do so. The Alcorn State Braves are one for four, 25% from the three, and the Delta Devils are five for 10, 50%. So, Caleb, okay, what do you think? Coach Bussell is telling his team in this timeout, considering that the Delta Devils have now tied this game. We need to go back to what we were doing at first, forcing turnovers, forcing bad shots, forcing bad shots. That will lead to long rebounds where we can't get it to transition to get easy points. Because right now, the Delta Devils are playing their game, and when the Delta Devils play their game, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's tough. And it's already hard when in Itabina, the R.W. Harrison Complex on the illustrious campus of MVSU in Itabina, Mississippi. Shout out Valley Sports Network, the best sports network in the nation. I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in to the broadcast. You could have been watching anything tonight, but you chose to tune into the best sports network in the country. In the world, Caleb. Most definitely. Delta Devils tell them. And we got a new, we got a new song for y'all. Yeah, the Delta Devil tell them. And 
Right now, the Delta Devils are absolutely telling them. What they say? Shoot the three. Let's shoot the three. Let's shoot the three. Let's shoot the three. Need Danny Washington just keep it going right now for us. Terry Collins, excuse me, Terry Curry right behind him. He's knocked down one of his own. And with that, Keandre Montgomery will be finishing the three point play. Keandre Montgomery knocks down the free throw. Second free throw up and no good. Rebounded by Minton. Minton gets the Washington 25 26 ball game. Washington being defended by Montgomery. Nice pass by Washington to Collins. Collins with the pass to Minton. And Minton with a nice layup. He wanted to foul, and Montgomery with the open three. Montgomery with the answer. And he knocks it down. Keandre Montgomery. Braves, you take this lead. With three minutes and 20 seconds left in this first half. Hot scoring, hot shooting for both teams. I can't. Can't go without shouting out both teams right now. Mismatch. And Terry kind of looking to work as he find Brown. Brown with the three. Brown shot up and no good. And Brown couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by the Braves. Montgomery Braves. to Byron Joshua. Braves looking to get a transition, get an easy bucket. And Joshua with a nice move on Barber. Nearly turned over. And Byron Joshua. Running out of time, five seconds on the shot clock. He finds an open shooter. Shot up and good by DeKendry and Thorne. Nice rhythm shot by him. He came from the corner and knocked it down the top of the key. And with that stop, it'll be a 30 second timeout call. Thorne gets his total up to six points tonight. And Thorne is doing this thing. I'd like to thank everybody that's tuned in. Bad Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. Get active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. And with that, it was a lot of chaos in the game. And not sure if they're going to call that right there. They're going to call that a block or a foul. No, a block or a jump ball. Well, they actually did call a jump ball. Okay. Nice block by number 22, Michael Barber. Yes, Barber absolutely pinned it. They found the open shooter, shot up, missed, rebounded by Danny. <laughs> Minute and 50 to go in this first half. Pass down low to Collins. Let's see who get Collins started. Washington. A little hard on that one. And that's going to be a missed shot. Nearly rebounded, out of bounds, turned over. And it's going to favor the Delta Devils. Ty Moser checks in 
Then the Washington will have a seat. Kadal Walla comes in as well. Braves looking to be on a full court press. The Kijan Thorne checks out as Brian Joshua comes in for him. Waller finds Collins. It's gonna be a foul call. It's Terry Collins. Looks to get started. That foul is on number three, Trevin Wade. Wade picks up his first personal team foul number two in the early going for the Braves. See if the Delta Devils can get a shot off. Five seconds, man on the shot clock. Waller, shot Leaves no it good. short. Shot no good. Rebounded by the Braves. That's gonna be a shot clock violation. Twenty-seven, thirty-two ball game. Forty-eight seconds to go in this first half. Braves come down look to extend their lead. Thirty seconds to go in this first half. And Keandre Montgomery gets Mosley in the air off his feet. Nice tough rebound by Jeremiah Kendall. And he cleans it up and gets a score to go. Braves extend their lead to seven with 10 seconds. 11 left. seconds. First half. And Ty Mosley will hold for the last shot. And he pulls up in his face. Shot up air ball. Good. Rebound by Bob. Bob with a turnaround. No good. And with that, Miss, it'll be a 34-27 ball game as we end the first half. The Alcorn State Braves take an early advantage here into the second half. Andre, how do you feel that the Delta Devils need to respond? They want a chance to win this game in the second half. The Delta Devils have to box out. They have to box out. The Braves have too many offensive rebounds. So the Delta Devils have to box out and stop the Braves' transition. Most definitely. And that starts with better offense. Less turnovers, less ill-advised shots. Delta Devils, game's not over. Delta Devils, let's fight. Valley Sports Network, we're here all night, and we're right back after this break. Thank you for tuning in. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline, the high standards, the lessons, both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, 
But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and AV supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000 or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student-athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student-athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together.
active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association, 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVclub.com. The discipline. The high standards. The lessons. Both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials. We persevere. We stand. Dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales, driven forward, compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn, we grow. What moves you? I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job, but then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you.
Happy New Year to all my students, alumni, fans, and HBCU supporters. It's time to elevate. April 8th through the 16th, 2023 is Hell Week. So save the date. On April 11th, we have our inaugural annual Green Day. That's Athletic Giving Tuesday. It's 1-1-2023 and April 11th is 100 days away. And we need your support. I need 100 supporters to give $1,000. Or 1,000 supporters to give $1,000. Nothing is too small and nothing is too big. We need you. Your donations will help with scholarships, travel, nutrition, strength and conditioning, facilities, and the overall student athlete welfare. Your financial support is necessary to provide infrastructure and facilities to go along with the dedication and talent of our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We are one. Let's commit to elevate. We can only elevate together. Active today. Join the MVSU National Alumni Association 5000 by 2025. Text MVSU alum to 72727 or visit us online at mvsunaa.org. 5000 active alumni by 2025. And Valley Sports Network, we're back as we begin second half action here at the R.W. Harrison Complex. The Delta Devils are trailing by seven. And look at the answer. It's Terry. Goody gets it started early second half with a big time three-point shot from the right wing. 30 to 34 point ball game. It may have been Coach Ivory's game plan for the second half. Put the ball in Collins' hand. Nice post move by number 13, Jeremiah Kendall. And Jeremiah Kendall has been working. Kendall has been working here early for the Braves. And Delta Devils. Still looking at chipping to this six point lead by the Braves. And Terry Connor with a nice dribble drive. He loses it out of bounds. Turnover, Delta Devils. Kind of the story of the first half for the Delta Devils. What's that, Andre? Got their total up to 12 turnovers. Oh. The turnover ratio, Caleb, 11 to 2. Most definitely. With 12 to 2 now. Braves been very patient with the ball. Very consistent on offense. Although they barely lead the Delta Devils. If Byron Joshua looks to work. Find Dontrell McCorder. McCorder working. Tough. Pull up shot in traffic. Rebounded by Mosley. Mr. Straight Curry. Ryan Curry. Shot up and no good. Go, go, and he misses it. Rebounded by Byron. Joshua, Joshua. Brings it to the front court. And the last time we took on the Braves, the Delta Devils had a strong first half. 
However, the second half, the Alcorn State Braves turned it on. And with hot shooting from their guards, were able to pull out a victory. Braves out of transition. Missed, rebounded by Byron, by Jeremiah Kendall. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Delta Devils. Last touch by the Devils. So the Braves will remain with the position. Jeremiah Kendall, name we've heard a lot tonight. Very fierce competitor. He finds an open Otis Walker. And Walker knocks down the three. Braves looking to try to extend their lead to double digits. Let's see if the Delta Devils can answer. I think they do, Andre. I think they do. And I know the answer. Terry Curry. Most definitely, we need to get him going. Shot up and missed by Raekwon Brown. As Joshua finds the Kedron Thorn, the Kedron Thorn with a nice pull up jumper. Braves extend their lead to double digits for the first time tonight. Early on here in the second half of this ball game. Raekwon Brown now with the line. Foul by number 11, Otis Walker. Let's see if, Otis Walker, correction. Let's see if Brown can cut this lead back to single digits. And we don't want to let this game get away from us right now as the Alcorn State Braves have opened up the lead to 11 here in the second half. First free throw open good by Brown. Deal to deal with making substitutions. Two for two on the trip to the line by Raekwon Brown. And Byron Joshua working. Nice pull up, right. Jay, by the Kedron Thorn. And so far in this second half, the Braves have looked totally different. They're knocking down almost every shot they put up. Mr. Black Mr. Eye. Black Eye! Mr. Black oh. Eye himself. Oh! Oh! And that's what he said when he hit him in his face. Once again, Caleb, we keep forgetting no. the eye patches, Caleb. Nah, I actually tried to go get someone by Walmart and didn't have any. So. Well, we'll have picks of ice after this game. Oh! The keys are thorn. The answer. With another mid-range jumper here in this second half. And he is absolutely balling. As the Kedron get his point total. The Kedron gets his point total up to 12. Here in this second half. Andre. Caleb. This second half has been a high octane second half as both teams have come out firing on all cylinders. However, the Delta Devils need to try to chip into this lead in a 10 point ball game with the Alcorn State Braves holding the advantage. Andre, I would like for us to pick, out a, pick up a win here. Go this season out. 
end the season on a positive note. As it hasn't been a season that we've all hoped for, but I think we can get the job done here tonight. 15 minutes. Dallas Sports Network, thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back after this break. What is motion? Motion, a change in place or position. Progress, forward or onward movement. Innovation, the action or process of innovation. Evolution, gradual development. Growth, developing physically, mentally, or spiritually. Breakthrough, an instance of achieving success. Join the V-Club today and support the Delta Devils. Be the catalyst for change. That's MVSUVClub.com. The discipline, the high standards, the lessons, both on and off the court. As student athletes, we strive to win in more ways than one. Despite the trials, we persevere. We stand dedicated to one goal, one team, one value in motion. Valley Sports Network, we're back as the Alcorn State Braves hold a 10-point advantage, and we're going to take it over to the Horizon League Championship where the Detroit Mercy Titans are taking on the Youngtown State. At home, Youngtown State taking on Antoine Davis, and Antoine Davis is actually six points away from breaking Pete Maravich's all-time scoring record. A record that's been held for over 50, 53 years. And he's, he had the record in sight with three minutes and 47 seconds to go. And only needed six points. I believe he does it, Andre. Don't you think? Caleb, are we coming to you right now? Most definitely. This is your answer. Well, 10 point ball game. Braves with the advantage. Collins working. Collins working. Collins working. And he couldn't get it to go. And nice pass, but couldn't get the finish. But there is Marshall. And he will be fouled to be going to the line to shoot two free throws. And look at this pass by Collins to Stradick. Nice right hand layup by Stradick. In transition. And Marshall knocked down the first. Two of substitutions for the Delta Devils that Jordan Johnson makes his first appearance in today's game. Ernest Minton comes back in and Raekwon Brown and Elvin Strittick will take a seat here in this second half for a few minutes. Okay, Caleb. As a coach, what do you tell your team right now as they're executing your game plan but the other team are just making shots? Like, what are you telling your team? Just just keep playing ball. I mean, they executing, and the other team just hitting shots. It's, it's pretty much out of their control. But it's not bad defense being played by no means. They need to just stay calm and play their game. Time Mosley inbounds to Collins. Collins finds Johnson. Johnson swings to Mosley. Mosley doesn't like it, but he likes the mid-range pull-up shot and misses, rebounded by Keandre Montgomery. Montgomery to Tre Trevin Wade. And there's going to be an offensive foul call on the Braves. As Dominique Bruton just tried to force his way through the lane. Still to Devils trail by 12. 13 minutes and 15 seconds to go in this ball game. Let's see if the Delta Devils have an answer. Nice shot by Collins. Let's see if we can get, let's see if the Delta Devils can get 
Collins hot. And Collins can have. Collins can operate within the three-point line as well. He has a nice mid-range game. Montgomery with the ball. He finds an open wave. There's going to be an offensive foul call on the Braves. Foul on number 32, Ladarius Marshall, the 6'7", 225, forward out of Jackson, Mississippi. And measurements like they sound more like a tight end. Braves looking to press. Delta Devils looking to cut this lead to single digits. Nice lay by Danny Washington. He couldn't get it to fall. And Brian Joshua off the dribble with a nice reverse layup in traffic. Three-point shot missed by Collins. And the uh, Delta Devil's going to have numbers here on this break. He finds Collins, and Collins finds Washington. Washington with the pull-up, Jay. No good. Rebounded by the Braves. Up and no good and right now, both teams just attempting a lot of threes and not getting anything to fall. Tyler Fine, Washington. If the Devils need a bucket here. Jordan Johnson with a nice layup. And he's fouled. And that foul is on the Darius Marshall. And that stoppage, like we'll be taking a media timeout the Alcorn State Braves. Hold a 12 point advantage right now over the Delta Devils at home. And I just like to see the Delta Devils fight back. 12-point ball game, 10 minutes, lots of time. Delta Devils have to put the ball in the basket, though, Caleb. Yes, in this second half, Delta Devils are shooting a 33% clip from the field and 28%, 2% from the three-point line. We need to improve upon both of those numbers if we like to win this game here in the second half and make it competitive. We're down also, 12 points. We also have to get stops, Caleb. 7, 7 for 11, yes. we have to get stops. And we're going to out-rebound it 10 to 2. Yes. So we have to take the glass box out. Most definitely. Valley Sports Network, we'll be right back after this break. Everyone has a story. We are the heroes of our tales. Driven forward. Compelled to thrive. At MBSU, we learn. We grow. What moves you? And Valley Sports Network, we're back with the action. And Jordan Johnson will be going to the free throw line to attempt two free throws. First free throw shot, up and good. Up and no good by Johnson. Boxy, 
Ain't second knocked shot. Down a second. Looking good by Johnson. See if the Braves can stay hot. Coming out of this break. Shot. And three point good shot. By Montgomery. Up and good. Keandre Montgomery. Hey. At this point, total to 11. And Terry Collins makes his way back to the score tab. We look to check back in for the Delta Devils. Danny yeah, Washington leading the charge right now for the Delta Devils. Time Moses with a nice pull up shot. Ah, yes. Elf. Nice shot by Mosley. Someone has to spar for the Delta Devils. If they want to win tonight. And Jeremiah Kendall with another nice jump hook. And that'll be a push on called on Jeremiah Kendall. That'll be the Braves' 15 foul and Kendall's first personal. And with that stoppage, Connors will make his way into the game. He subs in for Waller. It's not a lineup for the Delta Devils. Collins, Johnson, Minson, Mosley, and Washington. See if the Delta Devils can cut into this lead. And Minton tries a rare three point shot by Minton. Good. There's going to be a turnover, near turnover by the Braves. I want to say last touch by Delta Devils. So the Braves catch a break there. Brian Johnson looks to set the offense up for the Braves. Nice half court offense set by the Braves. Jeremiah and they Kendall. dish down low to Kendall again. Well, Kendall is absolutely working. This post game kind of reminds me of Joel Embiid. Uh, yeah. Or. Well, let, me, let me say tonight. Okay. Let me say tonight. Okay. The Joel Embiid is an absolute monster. But Jeremiah Kendall is having a night tonight. He leads Alcorn Braves with 13 points and uh, actually tied Tyron Mosley for the leader of all scores tonight in this contest for both teams. They both have 13. And Washington looking to work. Washington beat him out the dribble. And Washington gets the tough layup. And Washington is looking like a totally different player tonight. Washington playing like he has a chip on his shoulder. Nice defense by Johnson. Nice defense by Johnson to force a turnover on the Braves. And Washington constantly working. Washington nice. again. Oh, oh. Right, Danny Watson, Danny Green, Danny Westbrook, Danny Irving, Danny Walker, Danny Wall. Danny is going crazy. The junior out of Greenville, Mississippi. He's got his point total up to 10 in this game. And let's, let's take another look at that layup by Danny. Ugh. Nice pull hop through traffic. Danny Washington, Caleb. Danny Washington. <laughs> NBA comparison for tonight. John Wall. John Wall. John Wall. Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Kyrie Irving. Kyle Danny Lowry. Green. Kyle Lowry. 
couple guys he looked like tonight. I like I like the play by Danny Washington tonight. Rare three pointers. Rare three pointers. But he's taking the basket. So yes. I don't, don't want to overdo it, but I say Shy Gibbs Alexander. He's just getting the job done on all three levels for Delta Devils tonight. Delta Devils cut this lead to eight points with eight minutes left in this ball game. Let's see if the Delta Devils can complete this comeback. And right now the Delta Devils are trailing by eight points with eight minutes and nine seconds to go in this ball game. And I think the Delta Devils are saying exactly what this song says. This ain't what you want. This is not what they want. I can almost guarantee that. This isn't what they wanted or what they expect. Yes, because the Delta Devils are fighting back. Eight point ball game. Braves lead. Brian Joshua brings it to the front court for the 57, Braves. 47 49. Let's see if the Delta Devils can still come out of this timeout hot. Brian Joshua almost took the three point shot. So he's going to pass up and find a better look and reset. Byron Joshua. Shot up and no good. Rebounded by Collins. And I think right now, Delta Delta need to play with a sense of urgency. Delta Devils. Shot up and no good by Washington. Is Dominique Boone working? Shot up and no good. Rebounded by the Braves. And turned over. That's going to be a foul call on number 23, Dominique Bruton. Dominique I think that foul will put the Delta Devils in, though. Other side of the court. Second person, team foul number six. Delta Devils came out the last time out on fire, Caleb. They most definitely did. Collins with the ball. Collins with the shot. Shot over, no good. And Kadal Waller just couldn't catch it. Dominique Boone takes it all the way. Good defense by Collins to knock it out of bounds. Caleb, one thing I love about basketball players, but one trait that I love, offense to defense. He missed the shot, but he got back on defense. Yes. And defense is always a good thing. And they're going to call a foul on Jordan Johnson away from the ball. They're going to call another foul on Jordan Johnson. Things getting a little chippy between Jordan Johnson. And number one, Duntrell McCorder. There's a, a physical game right now between those two guys. Travel as he's tried to bulldog Johnson. And going in for the dunk, they're going to call a foul for a travel violation on McCorder. Collins with the ball. Back to Collins. Turnover by Collins. 
easy offense by for Bruton. He lays it in the transition. 59, 49 ball game. Bird extended the lead back to double digits. John Johnson trying to get into the lane. This is going to be out of bounds. They had touched by the Braves. Inbound pass to Stratus. Stratus with the tough layup. Eight point ball game. Braves hold the advantage here. Set. Like, I'd like to see the Dells of Dell fight back and forth an overtime period. Me too, Caleb. I actually would like to see the Dells of Dell fight back and win. Yes. Before overtime, but if. Overtime has to come. We'll take it. Most definitely. Whatever it takes for a dub tonight. Let me go over to the quarterfinal of the Barbasol Horizon League Championship. Antoine Davis short of Pistol Pete's record, but what a career. Number two all time. Just six points away from the the record, Caleb? Yeah, he was four points shy, Andre. Okay, four points. He made one more bucket, and hate to see him get so close and fall short. Oh, what a heck of a career. A heck of a career by Antoine Davis. A heck of a career. Over 3,000 points. What a career. Play it up and no good. Free throw up and no good. And with that, the Braves will be over the limit, and the Devils, Devils will be in a one-on-one. Now Walla. Walla, pretty good free throw shooter in his own right. One-on-one for the Delta Devils, Kadar Waller. Free throw up, no good. Brian Joshua looking to work. Nice That's gonna be a foul on Jordan Johnson. Is it's a late foul by Johnson actually. As the Kendry and Thorn attempts another. Pull up Jay. And he's fouled. Johnson extends his foul total up to three. And, and those three fouls might have been in the last three minutes. Most well, definitely. Looks like Coach Ivory going to keep him in, however. First free throw open good by, by Thorne, the 6 4 forward out of Houston, Texas. Those free throws open good. Birds extend their lead back to double digits. Entry pad tilt. Turned over by the Delta Devils. And Cole Bussell will tell them to slow the game down. Ten-point ball game, nice pass. Transition. Good job, Trey. And the Darius Marshall playing defense right there looked like a cornerback. The Darius Marshall. If you watch this this stream, if you go back and watch this stream. If basketball doesn't work out, football might be an option. Most definitely. And Moses with a tough layup. Couldn't get it to go. 
was looking for a foul. However, he didn't get one. And the rebound by Marshall. Very athletic guy. Look at the size of his shoe, Caleb. Yeah. And turned over by the Delta Devils. I'm going to say a well, last touch by the Delta Devils. So the Braves will remain with the position. Jeremiah Kennedy with the pass. To Thorne. Thorne extends his point total up to 17 on the night. And Thorne is absolutely working right now. Kayla, what's been the story of tonight's game? Turnovers. Um, the Delta Devils got their turnover total up to 16. Prayer to the Braves, nine. Um, fast break points, 11 to two. Alcorn with 11. Points off turnovers, the Alcorn Braves have 16 to so the Delta Devils, nine. Points in the paint, 28 to the Delta Devils, 16. So. The Braves are absolutely working, getting the ball down the painted area and getting the easy points. Which is why they're in control of this ball game right now, a 13-point advantage in the final four minutes of the game. For sure, for sure, Caleb. Jeremiah Kendall, the nice post score. Kendall. Kendall leads all scores with 17. Excuse me, Thorne leads all, all scores with 17. Six for seven from the field. Three for four from the from three point range, two for two from the free throw line, two steals, four rebounds, three assists, excuse me, five total rebounds, and he's just absolutely stuffing the stat sheet tonight. Did you say it was six for seven? Six for seven. Only missed one shot. That was a three pointer. Just stuffing the stat sheet and getting the job done for the Braves here tonight on the road. Time Moser leads Delta Dose with 13. Five for 11, three for six from the three point line. I mean, he's doing his thing too, but not showing on the scoreboard. We have we need more production from other guys. 13 point ball game. Build the Devils trail. Let's see if they can close out this 13 point lead and possibly force an overtime or even better, a win. Pick up the win. And then sitting inbound the ball for the Delta Devils. Inbound the ball to Danny Washington, the Delta Connection. Cross train. Down train. Yes, sir. Bring down to the As Moses find Collins. Collins with a turnaround three, in and out, no good. I mean, that's a frustrated type of miss for it to hit every inch of the rim. And not to go down the net. Slow night tonight by Collins. He's 4 of 13, 2 of 10 from the three-point line. See if Collins can get started, actually, with three minutes left. Slow night for Collins. As we do need his point production. Straight it. Perfect tonight from the line, two of two. And Stradick air balls the free throw. Someone may have gave Stradick a handful of popcorn during the timeout. A handful of cocoa butter. Or a handful of baby oil. Well, we don't know, Caleb. But what we do know is the Delta Devils trail by 13 with three minutes left in this ball game. Yes, they do. Tough shot. But 
The Kedron throwing, no good. 13 point advantage for the Braves. And watch the find Minton and Minton is fouled on his free throw, on his layup attempt. Hard fall by Minton, slow to get up. And Minton looks to be a bit shaken up, but. Stands up. Yeah. Right now, we're just trying to fight back. It's Minson's first free throw up, and no good. Delta Devil shooting nearly 50% on the night from the charity strike. Both free throws, no good. And we need those free buckets if we want a chance to cut into this lead. Right now it's looking like the Alcorn Braves will put into Cruz control. I don't know if you guys just noticed the near turnover by Joshua. Move looked kind of like an and one crossover move. And they're going to call up. Let me say it's out of bounds. Last touch by the Braves. As Washington brings it to the front court with two minutes to go, Collins tries a three. Curry. I sit down. Curry, Terry, Curry, Terry, Curry. Time play, Curry. Nice shot by Curry to cut the lead to 10 points with two minutes left, Caleb. What do the, what does Coach Ivory have to tell his team during this timeout? During this time. They need to just keep on chipping away, keep playing good defense. And we can get this dog. But right now, it's not looking too good. We're down 10. Shooting 40% from the field, 41%, 20 to 48 shooting, down to 25 from the three, 50% from the free throw strike. Trailing by, leading by 10, correction. If you were the coach of the Braves, what are you telling your team right now, Caleb? Um, let's just coast. No need to rush. No need to panic. No need to get in a hurry. Um, they're in the driver's seat right now. We're less than two minutes to go. Not many ticks left in this ball game. All they have to do is just coast. Play keep away almost. For sure, for sure, Caleb. Hold the ball. Yeah, to do it, we have to score fast. That trip by 11 with a minute and 40 seconds. And free throw missed by Joshua. They run the floppy set for Collins. And Curry. Collins. Excuse me, Terry. Curry. Great shot. And I believe Curry heard you because he has hit two threes since you said something about him being having a slow night. He has absolutely answered. They're gonna be watching the second personal team foul number nine. And with that, Terry Collins now leads all scores for the Delta Devils, 6 for 15. Field goal percent 40. 
four for 12 from the three, shooting a 33% clip. And he is in two in the past minute or so, Andre. So, I mean, Tracy McGrady scored 13 points in 20 seconds. Okay, look. We'll find out on the next episode of Valley Sports Network. And Joshua knocks down the first, makes it a nine point game. Knocks down the second, makes it 10. Minton with the three. He hesitated a bit. No good. Rebounded by the Braves. Joshua will walk it up the court and we approach a minute to go. Andre, I think it's safe to say that the, Del that the Delta Devils will fall. Yeah, okay. Nice put back by McWhorter. Okay, Caleb, kind of off topic. Interesting fact. But on this day in 1962, Will Chamberlain scored 100 points, Caleb, the most ever in the NBA game. And his record still remains to this day. Will Chamberlain is him. H-I-M? H-I-M. Him is Will Chamberlain. Him, you, him at the Chamberlain. Will Hemberlin. Good job, Will. Great job, Will. And Ernest Minton is fouled. He'll be going to the line to attempt two free throws. And I think it's safe to say. That the Kedrian Thorne is our player of the game tonight. 29 minutes, 6 for 8 from the field, 75% shooting, 3 for 4 from the three-point line, 75%, 2 for 2 from the chair. It's like 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 17 points. Runner-up, Jeremiah Kendall, 6 for 10, 1 for 2 from the free-throw line, 5 rebounds, 1 steal, and an assist to go along with that. Those two guys came and absolutely balled tonight in Itabina. 11 point ball game, 38 seconds remaining in the second half. Alcorn State Braves will improve to 17 and 12, as it seems. I'd like to thank everybody that tuned in. I'd like to Shout out the alum. Shout out the boosters. The Mean Green. Marching Machine. Okay. Shout out to them. Shout out to A.D. Hakeem. Shout out to President Briggs. Shout out to Coach Kendrick Wade. Football coach. Football head coach. Shout out to Coach Avery. Shout out to everybody that's at the game. Shout out to everybody that tuned in to the best sports network in the nation. Yeah, shout out to you guys. Big shout out to you guys. You guys could have been doing anything right now. But guess what you guys are doing? Watching the best sports network in the world. And with that, Ernest Minton picks up another foul. With his second personal team foul, uh, number 10. Ball, Keandre Montgomery will be going to the line to attempt more free throws.
Second free throw open good by the Braves. 12 point lead, Delta Devils trail. point ball game. 70 to 60. Dunk up, no good. And the keys and Thorn tries to get a little disrespectful. I think it boost ran out. He might need a might need a little Gatorade, Caleb. Most definitely. And Turnover batter. Deals to Devil, and that will likely be his ball game. Ten point win on a road by the Braves in a tough environment. Nice fight here tonight by the Delta Devils. And the Delta Devils will fall tonight, 70 to 60. Alcorn State Braves come from Long Beach City and pick up a dub here at the RW Harrison Complex. With that, the Alcorn State Braves will improve the 17 to 12 overall, 14 3 in the sweat. And we look to hold on to that number one spot in the Southwestern Atlantic they're Conference. They're tied with the Gremlin Tigers, who also is on the road to victory tonight. Um, last time I checked, Gremlin were in a dog fight. I mean, them fought back. Mississippi Valley State Delta Double falls to 5 and 26, 4 and 13 to Swag. One more game at the RW Harrison Complex Valley Sports Network, and we take on the Jackson State Tigers, who we beat about a month ago on the road on Lynch Street. Here are my broadcast partner, Andre Williams. Name is Caleb Brunson, man. We just excited to have everybody, excited to be doing this, excited that everybody be so tuned in, excited for excitement. Excited to be excited. Valley Sports Network, you're tuned into the best sports network in the world. Valley Sports Network. And we'll be right back on Saturday. Everybody be safe and have a good night. Love y'all. I don't know how I let these bills get so far behind. They just kept piling up. Sometimes there's just not enough money and we can't afford groceries. To wake up to no home, to no real job. But then I found CMI. They helped me get all my utilities paid. CMI helped feed my family. CMI helped me get a job and a home. Thank you, CMI. Thank you. Thank you. 